Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate effect size using an ANOVA table that we will have generated in Excel. So this is my Excel uh, with my data here on the left, top left hand side. I want to conduct an ANOVA or an analysis of variance test to see if there's an effect of um, hours of training on three groups. So our data are in column A, we have a group of pupils and their language scores uh, after receiving five hours of training. In column B, we have a group of same similar group of students with uh, 10 hours of training. And in group C here in column C, we have groups of students with 20 hours training. So we want to see if the different numbers of hours are significantly different from each other. In other words, we're looking to see does the number of hours have an effect on the pupil's test score. So uh, what I'm doing with in column E here, I'm outlining my null and alternative hypothesis. My null hypothesis is that there's no difference between the three groups. And my alternative hypothesis is that at least two of the groups are different from each other. And I'm going to conduct this test at an alpha value of 0 0.05. So in this video here, I'm assuming that you already know how to uh, uh, generate an ANOVA table or perform an analysis of variance test. So I'm going to, let's do that now. So I'm going to choose the uh, data analysis tool pack. So the data ribbon in Excel. Over on the right hand side, choose data analysis. If, it, if you don't see it there, that means you need to install it as an add-in. So I have it installed here already. So click on data analysis. And uh, the first option in the menu that you see here is the ANOVA single factor. So we're conducting a single factor or a one-way ANOVA. Click on OK. And it's very straightforward. It's going to, in the input range, I'm going to select all of my values. And I always select the labels as well. So everything from A1 down to C11 in this case here. Uh, there's a check box here for labels in the first row, so uh, I have done that. So I'm going to check that box. My alpha value is 0 0.05. I don't need to change that. And my output range, I'm going to click on the output range, uh, click inside the box. I'm going to select cell E8 for it to start displaying my output and click on OK. All right, so now I'm not going to go through in detail at uh, this ANOVA output here, but we can see, for example, that our F statistic of, of 8.799, uh, that's quite a high value. Um, it is higher than our critical value, which allows us to reject the null hypothesis that there's no difference between the three groups. We can also see our p-value is very low here. It's less than our alpha value of 0 0.05. Therefore, we have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. We have found that at least two of these groups are different from each other, and we can conclude that the number of hours training has an effect on the pupil's score. Now, this, so far, this is all we know, that there is an effect. We don't know whether that's a small or a medium or a large effect. It's just very, very um, a binary decision here. It either is or th there is an effect or there is not an effect. Now that we know that there is an effect, we would like to uh, determine what the size of that effect is. And that's where effect size comes in. And in brown at the top of my screen here, I have the formula for calculating effect size in an ANOVA test. Now, it's called the omega squared test. So that symbol there is the omega, a Greek letter, like an upside down uh, M. And um, this is one of a, a few methods for conducting effect size or calculating effect size in an ANOVA test. So we're going with this one, the omega squared test, as it's called. And we've looked at the formula here, we can see that it's made up of five components. OK, we've got SS, the sum of squares between groups, minus and in brackets, the degrees of freedom between groups uh, multiplied by the mean square within the groups. And that's all divided by the mean square within groups again, plus the SS total, which is the sum of squares total. Just be careful of term terminology here. Sometimes in some ANOVA outputs, you will see the between groups called the effect and the within groups called the treatment. So we're looking for uh, the effect here. So we're concentrating on the formula that we have here. So just watch out for the terminology. Now, the five parts in this um, are all on the ANOVA table. So starting with the SS, sum of squares between groups, here's my ANOVA table down here in the bottom middle of my chart. And SS between groups, uh, select it there. Let me just um, highlight that in yellow. So that's the value for sum of squares between groups. The degrees of freedom between groups is right beside that in the table. So let me just um, highlight that again. That's multiplied by the mean square within groups this time. So the mean square column within groups is 64.38. So I'm going to highlight that as well. And we divide that by the mean square within groups. So that's the same value as before. So that's um, uh, mean square within groups, 64.385. And that's plus the sum of squares total, which is um, at the bottom line of your ANOVA table. And I'm going to highlight that one in yellow as well. 
So there are the uh, f uh, components there. Don't forget that the mean square within groups is, is listed twice in the formula. So you don't have, any, uh, have to do any extra calculations uh, in order to generate the omega squared. We've got all the values listed here. So let's now go ahead and, and use these values from the ANOVA table to calculate the effect size in this example. So uh, I'm going to put in, uh, let me put my calculations here, effect size. Okay, and I'm going to use a formula here, um, uh, starting out with equals. Now I need to be very careful with precedence in the formula, so I'm going to use brackets to make sure that there's no error in precedence. So I'm going to put uh, everything in top inside a, a pair of open brackets. So start with an open bracket, and then the sum of squares between groups is the first value. So that's, I'm going to click on cell F19, and that's minus, and then I need another set of brackets here, the degrees of freedom between groups, which is, has a value of two, so select cell G19, multiplied by uh, the mean square within groups, which is cell H20, closing bracket, and a second closing bracket as well, just to do a quick check to make sure that you have uh, matching brackets overall. We now want to divide that by uh, the mean squares within plus the sum of squares total, so divide, and I'm going to put these in uh, brackets as well to be certain of precedence. So the mean square within again is a, once again at cell H20 plus the sum of squares total, which is cell F22 and closing bracket there. So pause the video now if you want to revise or go back over where each of these cell values come from. They all five components are coming from four parts of the ANOVA table, which is generated by Excel for us. So once you're happy with that, press enter. And our effect size uh, statistic is 0 0.342. So just do uh, three decimal places there. Now, what does this uh, value actually mean? Well, the um, uh, mind, the person behind effect size was a guy called Jake Cohen, and uh, he, in his book in 1988, gave us a rule of thumb, a chart here for values of uh, omega squared and what they mean. So he uh, produced a value that if it was 0 0.01, we had a small effect. That would mean that we, in our ANOVA test, we did find a difference. We did find a significant difference, a low p-value, or the f-statistic greater than the critical value, uh, but it was not by much. It was a small effect. So therefore, you, you, you have found a difference, but it's not a very big difference. A medium effect has values of 0 0.059. Sometimes even tables in the literature, you'll see that rounded to 0 0.06. And that means you would have a medium effect. And values of 0.138, also sometimes rounded to 0.14 uh, or greater, will have a large effect. So that means there that once you've, you have found that there is an effect, that there is a significant difference in your test, uh, if you get values over 0 0.138, uh, you have a large effect. So the difference is much more meaningful than, say, in a small effect. So in our example here, we've got an effect size value of 0 0.342. That's greater than the large value here of 0.138. So therefore, we can conclude uh, that we have a large effect here in our, in our test, so that the effect of the uh, different numbers of hours of training on the pupil scores, uh, there is an effect, and we can conclude that that is me a meaningful large effect. So the magnitude of it is given by the effect size. So that's how you calculate F size from an ANOVA table in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.